Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but in today's video, we are talking about the best and the worst spring 2022 finds from Target. And can I just say, I've missed you. A lot has been happening lately. We just got back from the Philippines. I actually went to go visit my grandma. She's not doing well, but you know what? We're gonna keep it positive for this video. I'm happy to be back. But before we get into these finds, I do wanna say thank you so much to Karma for sponsoring today's video. If you love saving money on every home purchase that you make, then you're really going to enjoy Karma. I've been using the app for years now, and you guys know I'm working on my living room. I found this beautiful, massive pendant on Serena and Lily. It's a little expensive, so I actually added the piece onto my Karma wish list, and once there was a price drop, I immediately got notified and I went for it right away. Getting Karma is so easy. All you have to do is open up your Chrome extension, download Karma and drag it onto that little toolbar. Now my absolute favorite feature from Karma is the automatic coupon code finder. When you check out, Karma will actually alert you to see if you're lucky and get any coupons for your piece. So it scours all of the internet and does the work for you and you instantly save some money if it finds some coupon codes. You can also shop smarter by planning and organizing your wish list items into different categories. For example, I have things for my home, some fashion items. You will get real-time price drops for those items, and you'll even get notified if something comes back in stock. Karma also has a cashback feature where you can earn on select purchases, which honestly is a win-win. So if you are interested in checking out Karma, go ahead and click that link down below in the description box and start shopping smarter. Okay, we have a lot of items to get through today. Some are really good and some are just questionable. So let's get right into it. And you guys know, sometimes with these target drops, things sell out like that. So this first item made it to my best list and it is the Livingstone Planked TV stand. From the photos, it looks like a pretty generous sized piece. And now what I love about this media moment is the kind of planked effect on the cabinets. I think it looks really modern and can match a few different design styles. It almost has like a white oak kind of color, which you guys know is very popular right now. And for $200, I feel like this is a great piece. All of the pieces I'm talking about today are fairly new, so most of them are in stock, and a lot of them are actually online only. This next item made it on my worst list, and it's the Canova upholstered dining chair. Now, when I first saw this piece, I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cute, kind of modern, but when I, really kind of looked at the photos, the proportions just seem kind of off. It looks a little small, it looks like it's dollhouse furniture, and the seat, it just looks like it's too low compared to where the backrest is. Like, when you look at this photo here in the dining room, it just, something about it feels off. I feel like Target actually doesn't shoot their pieces like in real life. I, this is just like a rendering from what I can see. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? If you work at Target, let me know. But again, it just doesn't, it doesn't look good. While the design intent is there, I feel like I need to see it in person, but for now it is on my worst list, okay? But looking at this photo, there's this fluted little dining table. Where's that? Where's that at? I didn't see her in the new in section because I feel like that is really cool and has like that trend element to it. Let me know if you feel the same about this chair because ugh, she's a little questionable. This next item is on my best list. It's the Reedsville Dowel Ottoman. I feel like this is another thing that Target does really well if you're looking for an affordable piece something that you can tuck away and use it as additional seating. You can really do a lot with ottomans, and this one actually reminds me of something 
that I've seen like on Crate and Barrel. It has a nice rounded shape with the white oak finish and the white fabric on top. I think it looks very modern, very fresh. And when you mix this in with some of your higher end pieces, it's just going to elevate it even more and make it look a little bit more expensive. It's $85, so I feel like it's a great price for an ottoman. Most of their ottomans actually start at 100, so 85, she's a deal. <laughs> this next item, is technically not really that new, and that is the marble dish designed with Studio McGee. I think this came out a few months ago, and let me give you a little bit of a close-up. It's a really beautiful stone, and what we love using this for is actually putting it on our nightstand. It's on Andrew's right now, and we love putting drinks on top, jewelry, anything that you want to just keep contained, this is perfect. And it's $25, you guys. I feel like there's so many high-end designer boutiques right now that are doing this exact shape that have like the really thick lip kind of dish and they're selling for like over $100. So $25, you're getting a really beautiful stone piece. Honestly, you can't go wrong. By the way, can we just have a moment for this shirt and this color? <laughs> It's so good. It's actually part of my Amazon drop collection, which should be coming out soon. It's the wave shirt that has a really cool asymmetrical um, wave cutout right here. So here is normal and here is the wave. And it helps to show off a detail of like a pant that you have. It's going to come in a few other colors. So if you haven't signed up for notifications yet for my Amazon collection, make sure you click the link down below in the description box as well. Okay, this next item is probably my favorite, favorite piece out of this entire list. And it is the Maxton Modern Wingback Sherpa Chair. It's giving me high-end chair. I actually have a chair here in my office and I feel like it's kind of a dupe. It's a dupe to the Little Petra by Anne Tradition. And this one from Target is coming in at 250. And I've said this time and time again, the Sherpa that they do on their furniture collections, they're very well made. It's kind of this tightly woven Sherpa fabric and it looks very, very luxe, very expensive. So for 250, you're getting this really cool chair that has a wing back. It looks very modern. It's very on trend. It's fresh. I just, I love these kinds of chairs for like a reading moment. This next item is on the best list. It's the Saverna Ceramic Accent Table in white. Another really great kind of fresh and on trend item. It looks like it's a plaster piece. And if you guys know, there's a lot of these pieces on Crate and Barrel and CB2 and all of these designer stores, Plaster is having a big moment right now in interior design. And this is just a great piece for $100. And listen, if you don't like the color, if you're not into white, think about painting it in kind of like a chocolatey color, light brown, even like a terracotta plaster moment would be really cool. Overall, I really like this piece. It doesn't look like it's sold in store. So again, only available online. This next item, actually it's more like a collection. It's the Arches Furniture Collection from Threshold. And listen, I wanna love it. I love a good arch moment, but something about this collection just feels a little bit cheap. And I don't know if it's because of the legs. It's kind of like, I, I feel like the legs are too much. I wish it was just more simple so that the arch detail could kind of speak for itself. Like the arch cabinet, I think it's so cool, but I hate the legs. I wish, I'm sure you can probably switch it, right? It's probably something that you can easily switch, you can take off the legs, but as a whole collection, I just feel like, I don't know. You know what? Yeah, let's put the Arches collection on the worst list and let's move on. <laughs> this next item is another chair. <laughs> I feel like Target is really good when it comes to accent chairs and it made it into the best list. It's the Maldon curved upholstered chair. I love the low back. I love the curved arm, okay? I feel like it gives me like 
Belgian sofa vibes, but obviously in a chair, okay? And it's coming in at 360. And if you look closely at the detail, there's this like pleated moment on the arm. And it's those little details that I feel like make it look more expensive than what it is. And the texture too, it's almost like this woven tweed texture. Oh, imagine pairing this accent chair with that plaster side table. Listen, Target for spring right now is really, really good. This next item actually made it to the worst list and it's because I've seen it in person. <laughs> it's the floral printed square throw pillow. Now, Target is, you know, sometimes they have really good pillows and sometimes they have really bad ones. And this pillow is sometimes. <laughs> I, saw, I saw it in person, it's very stiff, the fabric is not cute, it's not a vibe. You know, I will say the color palette of the pillows, the light green and there's even a rose color, it's, it's very nice, very cute, but again, it's very stiff. It doesn't have a zipper, so you can't change the insert. Not good. This next item is mm, chef's kiss. It's a rattan wall sconce. It's actually designed by Studio McGee, and a friend of mine has it, and she's been posting about it on Instagram. It's actually like a dupe of a Serena and Lily sconce. It looks more expensive than what it is. It's coming in at $100. It's a plug-in sconce. So I can even see it in a bedroom, like on a nightstand. It's a nice little like angular sconce. Yeah, I can't say much about it other than I love it. This next item made it on the best list simply because it's so practical. It's the Johansson Mid-Century Modern Bookcase. It's coming in at 230 and I love the walnut shade. Definitely makes it more mid-century. But you guys, you can always mix and match your pieces and your wood tones and adding something that's kind of a mid-century piece will actually be a cool like contrast next to more like traditional pieces. It's a great alternative to like an Ikea Kalax shelf that's like very plain and simple. This one has a nice backing to it. You can decorate the top part. It has a nice leg detail. Overall, I'm into it. This next item is questionable. I'm not sure what to say about her. <laughs> and it is the Delaware Low Lounge Channel Tufted Chair. Online, it's actually styled together as a sofa, so it's three modular pieces. And I want to love the idea. However, I just I feel like the pieces would move around because there's no way to like put them together so that they don't shift. I really want to love the idea. And maybe maybe it's better as a chair rather than a full sofa. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is this something you would buy? I mean, it's $260 and again, it's giving me that like vintage vibe. It's giving texture. It's giving kind of like a 70s low sofa moment. So I'm unsure. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, if you love mid-century design, then you're going to love this next piece. And it is a mid-century task chandelier in black. Now, this piece reminds me of a vintage Italian Still Novo style chandelier. You get this really beautiful conical, is that how you say it? Cone-shaped shades, and it looks like they articulate so you can even like, you know, depending on how you want the chandelier to look, you can change it up. It's black and gold, classic combination. It's $180. So if you're looking for something that's budget friendly, this is definitely a great piece. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, let me know what store I should do next for this best and worst kind of situation. And then, don't forget to check out Karma down below in the description box. Hit that subscribe button before you go and don't X out yet. Click this video next, watch it, and I will see you in that video. Bye everyone. <laughs>